How are you doing today? Good, Sarah. How are you doing? We got Jack Skelton there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my favorite star. Nice, nice. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Yeah, thank you. Great. Um, such a phenomenal performance. Absolutely blown away about what, about what you do here. How do you even begin to play such a wild, real-life criminal? Where do you start? Well, you know, it's always just with the script. Just just come right from the script and and the script was was that they, here we have a we have a party guy we have a we have a a guy who's craving attention who's craving stimulus who's craving money things attention women sex you know all of it like fun kids laughing playing like i want i want i want i want i want so it was like every scene was kind of a, a, like uh, you know He's just like, oh, what what could he be really focused on getting this this scene, and how would he go about getting it? And it's all very active, you know. There are certain characters who are a little bit more passive, and Jason is not passive. Jason is is always going after something, and so that was a lot of fun, you know. It also gives you a lot of permission um, to, you know, kind of make bigger choices or riskier choices than you usually would, because he was kind of a larger than life character absolutely I and mean, he's i mean he's very tense to watch it reminded me of um adam sandler and uncut gems because mm. he's just, just like trying to desperately trying to keep up this bravado yes yes that's exactly right he is he is racing against the clock and and losing you know increasingly yeah absolutely and with with in mind that it's a real story was there any particular scenes that you felt challenging or or like really to film because it must have been like hard to film some of the stuff that he committed himself well yeah I mean the hardest one to film and kind of didn't fully hit me until the day was filming the murder you know um it it felt very strange and to be you know, it was kind of planned out exactly how it happened. And, um, yeah, someone, you know, someone lost their life and a family lost one of their family members and that's horrible. And that was kind of an intense day on set that I hadn't fully anticipated being as intense as it was until it happened. Yeah. How, I mean, how did you decompress from that stress after shooting that scene? Um, well, we were filming during COVID. And I had a Peloton at home. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of bike rides. <laughs> no, cycling. I feel like that's a really good advert for Peloton now. Just to like, just get your Yeah, I don't out. know if they want to be at <laughs> the, the Jason <laughs> Derek Brown. Um, yeah, well, you know, it was it was it was pre vaccines. Pre so you're when you're working, they didn't want anyone going anywhere. So if you weren't doing it in your house, you weren't doing it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, what was it like working with Matthew? It's a stage feature and you've written the script. How was it working with this director? Yeah, we had a great time and he is an absolute sweetheart. Um, he is a 100% complete lover of film, loves what we do, loves this story you know he'd been sort of fascinated by this story for years and years so um he was a great wealth of knowledge and resources in terms of research and he's just a sweet guy just a genuinely nice um human being so we we had fun absolutely well it really shows it's such a great film thank you so much for talking with me today and enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much love the scarf Thank you, yeah, repping, repping the jack. <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.